Hi there. Now in this video I want to carry on working with this particular integral here 1 over the root of a squared minus x squared integrated with respect to x where a is a constant. I showed you earlier that it was the inverse sine or arc sine of x divided by a plus a constant of integration. And what I've got here are the types which we reduce now down to this type by completing the square. So for this one we've got the integral of 1 divided by the root of 12 minus 4x minus x squared integrated with respect to x. So what we do is we take our quadratic expression so we'll just write it down here that's 12 minus 4x minus x squared and we complete the square on this. Now because it's got a negative x squared here what I do is I put the minus down here and I rearrange it. I write minus and then in the bracket we've got x squared and then plus 4x and then minus 12. Okay, And so I can now complete the square off of this. So we say this is identical to minus and then I put up a square bracket here and then have a bracket squared there so we've got x here and remember we halve the coefficient of x halving the 4 is 2 so we've got x plus 2 all squared and if you square this out you end up with x squared plus twice 2x in other words 4x and the 2 squared which is 4 so because there's not a 4 here I take away the, that 4 and put back the minus 12 okay so just square that bracket off there and then what I've got is if I expand this I've got minus x plus 2 all squared and then minus 4 minus 12 is minus 16 and then this minus out here gives us plus 16. So I can rewrite this particular integral as being equal to the integral of 1 divided by the square root then of those two terms minus x plus 2 all squared plus 16 but I'm going to swap those two round write it as 16 minus then x plus 2 all squared and this is integrated with respect to x so I just border that off there okay now with practice you will find you can do this straight off but what we do is essentially integration by substitution. So if I'm doing integration by substitution or changing the variable then what we do is we say let u equal the x plus 2 here. And so if that's the case I need to differentiate this with respect to x I get du by dx equals 1 and if we're changing the variable or using integration by substitution I need dx by du so from this if I invert this dx by du would be 1 over 1 which is 1 okay and so I can substitute this in here and we now have the integral of 1 divided by the square root then of 16 minus u squared. And that's integrated with respect to u. dx du remember is 1 so you've got 1 du. And this takes on then this format here. You can see that we've got the x is now replaced with a u and a squared is the 16 so a would be 4. So according to that formula then we're going to have that this is going to be the inverse sine of u over 4 plus a constant of integration there and I can substitute now back for u u remember was x plus 2 so we've got the inverse sine of x plus 2 all divided by 4 and then plus the constant of integration c Okay, so I hope that's given you an idea then how we go about integrating something like this where we use completing the square.